Jiggy cat on a damn feeling spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a centipede. Hey everyone, it's me Nagato's Revenge here. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having an awesome day for today. For today's video, we're just gonna go ahead and get straight into it. And I'm gonna be talking about on how to customize your PlayStation 3's XMB, AKA also known as your main menu. And I'm gonna be teaching you guys on how to add custom fonts, XMB waves, as well as a customized PlayStation Network icon if you really wanted to do that for your modded PS3. What we're gonna be talking about now is today's prerequisites and everything that I will have will be in the link in the description down below any items or any useful tools or links will be also in a pin comment as well as in a link in the description down below but with that being getting out the way the first thing you need is a ps3 that's either uh, you know modded in some shape or form aka with custom firmware or you can use a hen system or hfw that is already installed onto your device so whether if you're using something like rebug 4.84 cfw or if you're using 4.85 hfw for hen you could utilize that if you guys don't have a modded playstation three and you really want to do this process i will have a card right now as well as a link in the description down below if you're really interested on how to mod your ps3 it's super simple these days and it wouldn't even take you about like an hour to do so with that being all out the way um the next items you'll need for today's video is multi-man or web man for this process if you're on hen you need to utilize the hen version of multi-man so basically there is two different variants of multi-man uh one for hen as well as one just for regular CFW and I will have both versions in the link in the description down below last but not least um this is where um all the magic really happens is um from the ps3's km zolius xmb extra mod collection dot iso I didn't create this iso package um uh, another youtuber who was really into the playstation 3 scene as well as just the homebrew scene in general he created this uh package so I want to give him a shout out real quick so thank you km zolius for making this uh iso package so we could customize our xmbs I will also have a link to his channel in a pinned comment as well i will have it in the link in the description down below but with that being all out the way um we're gonna go ahead and get started on the ps3 side of things as well as the pc Alrighty everyone, assuming that you guys did follow all the prerequisites, which I stated in the intro, we're basically good to go and ready to get started on the PC side of things first before we even get to the PS3. So first things first, as you see here, I have four files and I'm going to be talking about all the files we're um, going to be utilizing for today's process. So the first file is the KMZ Zolius, excuse me, XMB Extra Mods Collection ISO. This is basically going to allow us to customize our XMB with, you know, custom PSN color balls is going to also allow us to change our XMB waves as well as to change custom font on our PS3. Um, the other two files that you see here is small to man. Um, if you're on CFW, you're going to be using the 4.85 base one, and in the link in the description down below, I will have them labeled, of course. So if you're on CFW or if you're using like a debug system or a reference tool like me, you could go ahead and use this version. If you're using Hen, I mean, make sure to use the 4.82 version so if even if you're on the latest version of hen like 4.85 you can still use this version of the build um this is both optional but it does work with cfw and hen as well let's say if you want to launch um this program or this iso webman just like any other ps3 game you can basically have this um installed as well on your hen or cfw system but what we're going to do now um is go ahead into our file explorer we're going to go ahead and get our usb and i think i didn't forget to mention that in the introduction but i'll have that probably edited out um but you will need a usb for this method or you can use files of the ftv client depending on how you want to transfer your files over but what we're going to do first is verify our usb is formatted to fat32 so what i do want to state as of right now if you have any important documents or files on your usb go ahead back them up to your pc or maybe another usb drive because anytime you reformat your usb drive um it will erase all of its data but first Things first we're going to verify if it's on fat32 if you're on fat32 congratulations you don't even have to uh, format your usb but if you're on xfat or ntfs you have to format it to fat32 since the playstation 3 only reads uh, fat32 file systems so 
what we need to do as of right now is go to our usb um go into format and i'm just going to pretend my thing was on ntfs for example or xfat all you would have to do is go to fat32 default allocation unit size just set that to default allocation usb volume label this is just the name of the usb i just call mine's usb um make sure you have quick format on and if you don't it will take a while to um basically reformat your drive but all we got to do is go into start hit ok and then the warning that you just saw just basically reinstated on what i was saying that formatting usb will erase all your data but once um your usb is fully formatted just hit ok hit close open back up file explorer go into your usb you can see that i didn't even have data on there in the first place but if i go into properties you can see that my thing is on fat32 so what we need to do as of right now once you go in the link in the description down below and you download all of these files um what we're going to do if you're on cfw go ahead and transfer this over i'm going to be using my uh playstation 3 reference tool aka my development kit but if you want cfw you could do the same thing if you want hen please make sure to transfer over the 4.82 version so just for you know tutorial purposes i'll have that version installed and then you could go ahead and transfer over webman put that to the root of your usb and now where it says the actual iso from kmz zolius just go ahead and make a new folder and i'm going to be teaching you guys on how to basically utilize this via with a usb and how to utilize this via on your actual internal hard drive as well but if let's say if you just want to run this off your usb all you got to do is create a folder in all caps called ps3 iso and basically um you could run this file or multi-man will scan this file and then you'll be able to mount the actual uh iso itself and then customize your stuff via with multi-man so as of right now here's multi-man via right here um let me just go ahead and exit out you can see that all of my files are here we got all of our homebrew including the cam zolius uh xmb extra mods collection all we got to do now is open up um this section or hidden icons excuse me and then you want to safely eject your usb drive and you want to go ahead and put that in your playstation 3's usb port so what i'm going to do now is transfer it back over to the ps3 and show you guys the next steps uh, for today's tutorial Alrighty guys, assuming that you did follow all of the steps on the PC and you got everything transferred over and now on your PlayStation 3 you did just put your USB stick into your USB port. What we're going to do is go ahead and we're going to install our packages. So if you're on HEN, I will probably have a little picture up on the screen. Make sure to enable HEN first if you're on HEN. If you're on CFW or on a debug unit like me, you don't have to do that step since we're already on custom firmware I'm assuming. And what we need to do now is go into packages package manager so once you're in the package manager go into install packages go into standard and you should see all of our files that we just installed onto our usb so right now um if you're on hen make sure to use the 4.82 version just want to reinstate that again if you're on custom firmware or a debug unit just go ahead and install 4.85 base multi-man i'm just going to go ahead and install this version i already had it installed but just to make it simple for you guys so you guys could understand um on the full process on how to do that i don't mind reinstalling uh packages and yep so we got that one done I'm just going to go back and install packages, go into standard and go into webman mod. And this is what I'm going to be showcasing y'all guys for you guys today on how to utilize this with webman as well. But once a webman is fully installed, what we're going to do is launch webman first since we're going to uh, utilize the full version of that. So once webman as well as um, excuse me, multi-man is fully installed, what we're going to do is go where it says webman and it will give you a list of instructions and it will say hold down l1 for full edition we want to go ahead and install the full edition so i'm going to teach you guys on how to do that all you would have to do is hit x and hit l1 immediately to install the full version and it will reset your ps3 so once it's fully done i'll come back to the video and show you guys on the next step 
Alrighty guys, assuming that you did um, install Webman correctly and you already did the process what I told you by hitting L1 once it fully booted onto your console. If we go into Webman games, you should see that uh, Webman should be on your device. You could already see that I already had Webman previously installed since it scans all of my PlayStation 1 titles, any of my PS2 titles, as well as my PlayStation 3 titles. But I'm going to be showing you guys today on how to get uh, XMB ISO collection installed successfully via with multi-man as well so what we're going to do is just launch into multi-man if it's your first time relaunching or installing multi-man um it may ask you to uh you know accept some terms of service agreements or it may just you know install some primary stuff and you just either have to wait for it but once you boot it into multi-man here if i go into refresh scan right here you already could see that it detected my xmb extra mod collection iso but just to show you guys um i'm going to delete this from the internal acd so i'm going to show you guys on how to successfully do this from you know start to finish so if i go ahead and refresh my disc you can see that um it's already detecting the xmb uh, mod collection from uh my usb but let's say we want to go ahead and run this from our internal hdd as well what we need to do is hit over triangle over the iso we want to go into file manager slash multi-man operating system and what it will do is go ahead and pop into the file location or file directory of where our ISO game is installed. Um, another way on how to do this as well, let's say if you don't want to do it that way, uh, if you were going back into the menu right here, you could go back from file manager, multi-man operating system, PS3 root, go into dev underscore USB 002. It may say 006, 001, depending on how many or whatever USB slot you put it in. As long as you see dev underscore USB I gotta do is just go into that directory and then since we already put our file into ps3 ISO you can see that we got to the same file location it's just a, another way of doing it um, or basically another method on how to get to the same place but here regardless what you want to do is highlight over the file by hitting X then what you want to do is hit circle over to the, the thing or excuse me to the actual ISO you want to hit X to copy you want to close out of this folder right here Go into PS3, dev underscore ATD0, which is your internal hard drive. You then want to go into PS3 ISO, and you just want to paste the ISO right here. And now, once it's fully pasted over, and it shouldn't take too long, only 54 uh, megabytes. It will, now, if we go back and hit R1, you can see that the game is now running from their internal hard drive, as well as from our USB. Just to show you guys that it's running from the USB, all we got to do is hit X over from our um, thing or from actual multi-man if I could even talk today just wait for it to boot back into X and B so that's what I'm doing here now that we're into um, the actual X and B if we highlight over this you can see we have eight so there's already um, pre-made code boot so if you wanted to choose any code boot at startup you can by hitting X and then it will restart our console um, let's say if I wanted the official PS3 one I can if I wanted uh, Rebux Rex Cobra I can do that as well but what I'm going to showcase today is um, the X and B waves I personally like um, this version right here just the kind of the black and chrome type version so all you have to do is hit x to install over that what will happen now it will ask you to restart your console which i do recommend doing so what i'm going to do now is hit yes cut the video here and what should happen um my ps3's xmb will be in a black and chrome format so i'll meet you guys for that um right now Alrighty guys, so as showcased here, you can see from my PlayStation 3 booting up, you can see that rebug um, icon is still there and you notice that my XMB has changed to the custom um, one that we just set up. So what we're going to do now is go into Webman Games. I'm going to show you guys that um, XMB Extra Mods collection, you know, successfully loads up via Webman. So voila here so not only we did it with multi-man we also can do it from webman so what we're going to do is go into xmb mods collection uh let's say if i want to go ahead and set up another like a custom font for example since there are a ton of them 
let me go in to find a custom font that I like. Um, we could do the GTA font just for an example. So we're gonna go back to here and it's just the same process again. All we gotta do is just hit yes to install. So that's what I'm gonna do here is hit yes, wait for my PS3 to boot up and then I'm gonna show guy, or excuse me, showcase to you guys that the GTA font is on my console. Alrighty guys, so as showcased here, you can see that my font is now with the, you know, typical Grand Theft Auto, like San Andreas style font. So you can see that um, my console is now modded via with this font. Um, one more thing I do want to show, if I go back into KM Zolius uh, XMB launcher, let's say if I wanted to like revert back, for example, to another font, all you would have to do is just basically press X to that original font so let me go ahead and scroll all the way down so if i wanted to go back to the original ps3 font which i am going to be doing is just you know press x over that but let's say if i wanted to change my color psn ball um you can see that i could choose any option from here um i'm going to keep mine to red because i personally like the color red but you guys get the picture on how to utilize this now hopefully if you guys did enjoy this video or have any questions or you need a you know one-on-one -on -one with me on how to set this up please let me know in the comment section down below if you need help join my discord but with that being said my name is nagato's revenge and i hope you guys had an awesome day and had an awesome time watching this video i'll see you guys next time peace Hey everyone, it's me Nagato's Revenge here. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. With that being out the way as well, I highly do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you never miss any of the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well. It's another method on how you will know when I drop my latest content, whether it be for the Vita, PS4, PS3, and such and so forth. As well, if you want to be in a mix of things and you want to join my official community, you can join via the link right now showcased on the screen and join my discord that way and if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you could become a patron i will have a card right now but with all of that getting out the way hope you guys really did enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time peace